Hi everyone. Today I am going to show you a quick version of chicken enchilada. I, uh, I'm going to make it as simple and quick as I can. Show you some of my hacking uh, tips that I do to prepare a dish pretty quickly. So stand by, I'll show you the ingredients involved and then we'll go from there, thanks. As I said earlier, I'm going to show you all the ingredients involved in making this chicken enchilada dish. As you'll see here, I've got all of my cooking items that I'm going to need to prepare the chicken enchilada all out here on my island, ready to go. Now, I always open my cans, all of the cans at the same time. So today we're going to need some of the vegetable oil and I'll show you why that is later on. We're going to need um, three, I'm sorry, three different kinds of cheeses gonna have some sour cream in there a little bit of half and half I have the pre shredded chicken this will cut down a lot of time when it comes to cooking this it's already done almost every grocery store in America anymore has already uh, deboned chicken there you can purchase it in the deli sections a lot of times we have salsa and rotel I have my already made green enchilada sauce an onion and of course my tortilla shells right here, my baking dish that I'm going to have on, and I'm going to now preset my oven for 350. Okay, hopefully I'm giving everyone the ability to be able to see what I'm doing from start to finish. As I said, I started my oven at 350. I'm going to get out my handy dandy little can opener, and I'm going to open my cans and get everything ready to prepare this dish. Uh, getting ready to assemble all of this, one of the items that I'm gonna to have to have is an onion. And a quick and easy way, instead of dicing it, because I'm gonna need a whole onion, I put it in my little food processor here that I have, a small little device, perfect for when you wanna just dice up one uh, piece of celery or one pepper or one onion. Uh, it's very easy to, to dice these up in, in one of these. So this, okay, I want to show you how quickly that what took to, it was a very quick process. It didn't take long at all to dice those up. And that's the way I needed them. Any good cook will tell you that the love of cooking is sometimes outweighed by the hatred of cleaning up. So because of that, I will show you what I do. I say that. I always put down, if you can see this, I put a, uh, this is my pie sheet. You can use parchment paper, you can use anything, but put it down uh, around the surface that you're going to be cooking around. Okay, and now I'm going to start assembling the mixture of things that I need. First of all, I'm going to start putting cream cheese in the, in the microwave. I'm adding to that cream cheese some Tillamook or any kind of Mexican cheese. I'm gonna do about a half a small packy, about a handful of just regular sharp cheddar cheese. We're gonna put that in the microwave. Anytime that I use the microwave with something like this, I always try to put a glass of water in there. As you know, microwaves dehydrate everything. You don't want everything dehydrated. You want a little, a little hydration back into stuff. Now, I'm going to start assembling and getting everything ready. I'm going to take one can of my green enchilada sauce here, one can of it. Wesson oil, you can use any kind of vegetable oil. Now you're gonna go, what in the heck is she doing this for? And I'll show you soon. But I put about that much, about a fourth of a cup. It's not quite mixed up as much as I'd like it to be. So I take it out of the microwave, kind of mix it around a little bit. Now is when we put in a little bit of that half and half that I was referring to earlier. I want it creamy, so I don't want to use a lot of half and half, about a tablespoon. I'm going to put in some sour cream. Sour cream, about two and a half tablespoons. So I'm going to mix that in here, and then I'm going to set it back into the microwave oven and let it get all creamy. Put it on the inside of my enchilada. Okay, as I said, you were probably wondering why I used this oil. Well, I'm about to show you. You want to make sure you've got your green chili in the bottom, some of your green chili in the bottom of that baking dish. Now we're going to take our tortillas and we're dipping them in the oil. Take that oil off. But that oil makes your cooking process with your enchiladas so much easier. And you see I'm putting them on my my thing here so I don't have a lot of mess. And I'm going to do about six of these before I ever start assembling. 
And the good thing about it is eat a lot after about the third one because they all kind of go into each other. I've got oil now on all of those tortilla shells. Oh, that's looking good. That is looking really good. Oh, baby. That's gonna be some good eating. Now, you know, I like, um, I like Mexican food. And you know, Mexican folks love cumin. Cumin, big thing. I wanna show you that filling now, that cheese filling that we have going there. It's gonna be our cheese filling that's gonna go inside of our enchiladas. This is our next process. We are going to take a can of Rotel. And we're going to empty that can into that cheese mixture. That's gonna give it all kinds of really tasty, cheesy. Oh, look at that. When that chicken and that enchilada mix and all of that good stuff go together, oh, that's gonna be so fantastic. But I need a little bit of cumin, just enough to say it's a Mexican. And I used about a teaspoon. You all saw what I put in there. Okay, I have um, gotten all of my mixture into the, into the bowl now. That is the chicken that I put all of the chicken in there. I put the Rotel, the three different kinds of cheeses that I melted about two minutes. Um, the deboned and pulled chicken. I've got a little sour cream Rotel and all. Now I'm going to get ready to assemble. Oh, and I put my onions in there as well. So all the whole combination is right there of my filling that will go into my enchilada shells. And then we'll get it in the oven. And hey, this will be a meal, baking time included, probably 15 minutes from start to finish. That is the key. Preparation a lot of times is the key to easy and quick cooking and tasting good. You want all of your ingredients. And also the other thing is when you look at your ingredients, sometimes you go, oh, forgot that one, forgot that one. So this gives you the time to look it all over and say, yeah, I got everything I need here. We're ready to go. I'm gonna show you now how I assemble it. Okay, <laughs> I know you're going, what has she got there? I have an ice cream scoop and I take two large scoops that's got that chicken in there that's got all of those really nice ingredients and I don't know if you can see how I'm doing this now I'm just rolling it in and I'm placing it into that baking dish that has a little bit of that enchilada sauce in the bottom of it another couple of spoonfuls that oh my goodness Frank is gonna love this meal so simple five I said I had six I have seven and I think I can fit all seven of them in here you always want to make sure that your bottoms are down I don't know why <laughs> I say you always want to make sure but you always do uh, there's a reason now a lot of people would say no you don't want to do this but I like to do it I like to take the rest of my mixture and layer it on top, just kind of coat it on top. That'll give it a kind of a cheesy, more cheesy feel to it. Then we pour the rest of our enchilada sauce. I'm bringing this down so everyone can see. The rest of our enchilada sauce all over the top of that. Look at that. Oh, that's gonna be tasty. We like cheese, so I am finishing off the dish with cheese, covering it up and baking it for 35 to 40 minutes. Cover it up, away it goes. We're in the oven. We're gonna have dinner in about 35 to 40 minutes. Take it out, take the um, aluminum foil off in about 30. Okay, I will show you dinner here in just a little while. Okay, I'm getting ready to pull it out of the oven. Something that I use that I think is really needy, little cork, they're a little cork, you can buy them in any store or any, again, any cooking store, any place that sells cooking items. Cork, you put them down and it saves your counters from getting uh, marred up. 
So let's look at this as we take the lid off. Oh my goodness. Now we're going to put it back in the oven for about another 10 minutes. That will go down some, but look at that. Doesn't that look tasty? Oh my. I don't know if you can see that. You all can see it, but right there it is. Now, as you can maybe see, I've chopped up some green onions. So I'm gonna put those green onions on top there just to give it some color, make it look pretty, you know? Good food. A lot of times is good because it looks pretty. You wanna eat it. You wanna dive in and have some of it. So Frank and I's dinner is pretty much done tonight. We'll be having this later tonight. I appreciate you watching this. See you next time. Bye-bye.